everyone, and welcome to the XD Daily Creative Challenge. I am so excited to be here live in the Adobe Studios and to be your host. So I'm just gonna see who's in the chat right now. Hi everyone, hi Antonio, Alejandro, hi Jason. So nice to see you. Hi Travis, woo, okay. <laughs> So today is day number one in our daily challenge. So I'm just gonna go over a little bit about um, what the XD Daily Creative Challenge is all about and the different ways that you can participate. Um, so the XD Daily Creative Challenge is essentially a really great way for you to practice your UI design and prototyping skills right in Adobe XD. So um, if you're a beginner, maybe you're a graphic designer looking to transition into UI design, or maybe you just wanna pick it up as a hobby. Um, whatever the case, it's just a really great way for you to practice and to also have some really great um, design pieces to add to your portfolio. Um, so in addition to tuning in um, from 8.30 to 9 a.m. PST, um, we also have a Slack channel that you can join. So I'm just gonna head on over to our Slack channel and be sure to um, follow the link. Yep, right above me. <laughs> so once you sign up uh, by following this um, link, um, as you can see, first thing you're gonna wanna do when you sign up for our Slack channel is to introduce yourself. So tell us your name, where you're from. It's also exciting to know where everyone is from. Um, and after you introduce yourself, be sure to go to the announcements channel. Um, and every morning at 8 a.m. Um, Pacific time, um, we will be posting the daily challenge and we'll also have a downloadable um, XD template that you can use to kickstart um, designing. Um, and I also encourage you to design live with me if you can. Um, so in addition to the announcements channel, we also have a design feedback channel. Um, so if you want feedback on your designs, be sure to um, post your designs here. Everyone is super friendly um, and you'll get some really valuable feedback. And under the help general channel, um, if you have maybe a more technical question, um, be sure to ask it there and you'll get your um, questions answered. Um, so that's just an overview of our Slack channel. Um, in addition to that, I encourage you to upload your work um, to Behance. So very quickly, I'll go more in depth uh, near the end of the show, but be sure to hit the discoverability tab when you're um, creating your project and use the hashtag, or the keyword, sorry, XD Daily Challenge. That way we can find your work and also feature it live on the show. Um, since it's day one, there's nothing to feature, but I definitely want to see your work tomorrow. Um, yeah, so one more thing to note, um, Adobe XD is now free. So be sure to download Adex Adobe XD if you haven't already. Um, it works on both Mac and PC computers, so download Adobe XD. All right, so that's just an overview of what the XD Daily Creative Challenge is. So we can start designing now, so excited. <laughs> so I'm just gonna head on over to my working file. And this is the XD template that you can download. So um, for today's challenge, we're going to be prototyping stories for a social networking mobile app. And the tools we're gonna master today is Mask with Shape, the Repeat Grid, and Transitions. So as you can see on the left-hand side, we have some um, images or I guess screenshots of different apps that we're gonna kind of draw inspiration from today. So as you can see on the, the Behance app, there's something called a work in progress where you know users can take photos or yeah, photos of their computer screen and just show what they're working on. And um, below we have Instagram where there's that, you know, the infamous stories area where you can just share what you're doing throughout the day and whatnot. So we're kind of gonna model our app after um, the Behance screen. As you can see, there's like a user information area here, send a message area, and like a little like button there. So that's kind of what we're gonna be modeling our screens after. Below, you can choose um, different colors. So if you're kind of struggling to pick a color for your app, um, definitely use the suggested colors here. You don't have to follow necessarily the colors that I will be using, so feel free to be creative. And below we have some additional resources. So uh, the profile photos that I'll be using um, today are, is from an app called Diverse UI. 
And I'm also using stock photography from Adobe Stock, which is a really great way for you to get stock photos. And it's totally fine if you use the uh, stock photo version with watermarks on it. You don't have to necessarily um, download an actual stock photo, I guess. Um, and also you can get feedback on Slack by following this URL. So that's just an overview of the template. So I have a design outline area here. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is simply name our artboards. So the first artboard, I'm just going to name it home screen. Oops. And for the second artboard, let's name it story one. And let's name our third artboard story two. Super easy. All right, so next we're going to design our header area. So our header area is gonna consist of um, a nice colored background, just to add some color. I'm also going to add a logo and our um, iOS status bar. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard and I'm grabbing the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna draw out a rectangle. There we go. I'm gonna remove the border and then I'm gonna fill it with our primary color which is this really pretty uh, turquoise color. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift Left Bracket to send it to the back. Um, that way we can see our logo. And now I'm going to go into the symbols library and I'm gonna grab our status bar. So again, I got this from um, the free Apple iOS UI kit. So um, to get that, all you need to do is go into File, Get UI Kits, Apple iOS, and you can download a free Apple iOS UI kit. So lastly, for our header area, I'm just going to design our logo. Kind of drew some inspiration from the Instagram logo by using a nice, um, cursive font. So I'm just going to name our app Super Social. There we go. And I already have a character style, um, so I'm just going to select it here. And there we go, that's our logo. I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. Great, so that's our header area. So now we're going to work on our stories area. So as you can see, um, the stories area has a repeat grid. So we created this using the repeat grid and I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate how we did that. So all I did, all we did is I'm just gonna hit E on my keyboard to grab the ellipsis tool. Gonna draw out a circle by, by holding shift. And then I'm gonna grab the text tool by hitting T on my keyboard. Just gonna write name for now, oops. And then I'm gonna select the text object and the shape. Gonna hit Command R on my keyboard, or you can just um, hit the repeat grid button here. And then I'm gonna draw it out by grabbing the handlebar, and there we go. So it's super easy, super cool tool, um, very time-saving if you wanna create um, multiple um, objects that are all the same like this. So definitely encourage you to um, use the repeat grid for maybe other um, elements on your, your screens. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to add photos to um, the stories icon and also to add how to add text. So I already selected some photos from Diverse UI. So I'm just gonna grab my folder. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five um, story placeholders. So I'm just going to select five images, drag it, oops. And then I'm gonna drop it onto the grid. There we go, voila. It automatically populates. Love the repeat grid for that, so much, um, so efficient to use. So I'm just gonna um, now populate the name areas. So again, in my folder, I have a bunch of usernames that I already um, kind of created from as from random. So I'm just going to drag and drop this username's text file. And I'm gonna drag it into the text area here. And again, it automatically populates all five text areas. 
So one more thing to do in the repeat grid, I'm just gonna select um, this single uh, stories icon and I'm gonna remove the border. So now all of the borders are removed and I'm kind of done with the repeat grid so I'm just going to ungroup the grid. There we go. So that's our stories area. So now I'm just gonna move down to our timeline area. So kind of how we see on Instagram, there's the, um, I guess, user information above this, uh, the photo, and there's also a menu icon here. So we're kind of gonna design that right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this story icon. I'm gonna press Command C, and then I'm gonna press Command V on my keyboard to paste it outside of the group context because this is a group, the photo and the text area. So now I'm just going to shrink it down. And I'm just gonna align it here. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the username. I'm gonna press Command C to copy it and then paste it outside of its group context and just align it to the center here. Um, and one more thing, so we want to make this user, I guess, um, an active user. They have a story that um, we haven't seen yet. So I'm just going to double click on the photo here. I'm gonna add a blue border around it. So I'm just gonna increase its size to three. And then I'm gonna grab the eyedropper tool and I'm just gonna select the header color here, which is our primary color. Here we go. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with this photo. And I'm gonna increase its size to two. There we go, so it looks like an active user right now. All right, so now we're gonna draw our menu icon. So I'm gonna hit E on my keyboard to grab the ellipses tool. And I'm just gonna hold down shift and draw it out. And now I'm gonna hit Command R to turn it into a repeat grid. And I'm just gonna drag it out until there's three circles. And as you can see, there's some padding. So I'm just going to hover in between. So we have that purple or pink um, padding area. And I'm just gonna shrink it down to three, maybe two. I think that looks good. So now I'm just gonna remove the border and I'm gonna select our primary color. There we go, that's our menu icon, looks really good. And we created it so easily with the repeat grid. So let me align that. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's that um, top area above the photo. So now we're just going to add a photo in this um, rectangular object. So I'm just gonna press Command Shift L to open my Creative Cloud library. And I already have some photos that I selected from Adobe Stock. So I think I'm gonna use this really pretty photo of the Golden Gate Bridge here in San Francisco. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto this object. And voila, we have our full width image. Looks so good. All right, so um, one more thing to um, complete our home screen. I'm just going to color this home icon, our primary color, just to kind of bring um, our design together. And there we go, that's our home screen. So now let's move on over to our story screens. So first things first, I'm just gonna remove these picture icons. We won't be needing that. And now I'm going to drag and drop some more photos that I got from Adobe Stock onto um, this uh, object here. So this is a rectangle and all you need to do is just drag and drop a photo and it automatically um, fills up the object. So I'm gonna do the same for story two. I think this is a really good photo to use. All right. So now we're just gonna work on story number one. 
Um, I'm going to first um, edit the or design the progress bar. So since this is our first story, we want to indicate that we're watching it currently. So I'm just going to select this first progress bar here and I'm going to color it white. And then I'm going to select the second progress bar and I'm going to hit five on my keyboard and that reduces, reduces its opacity to 50%. So just keep that in mind when you select an object and just hit a number on your keyboard, it, um, it reduces or increases the opacity. All right. So just below the progress bar, I want to put some um, user information. So I'm just going to go to the home screen and copy the photo and text area. I'm going to press Command C to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it onto our Story 1 artboard. And as you can see, the gray, it's kind of um, making it a little hard to see. So I'm just going to click it and I'm gonna color it white. That way it stands out some more. Um, and also in the Inspirations um, photo for um, the Behance app, there was also a timestamp beside the username. So I'm just gonna press Command D to duplicate it, this text area, and I'm gonna write one hour. And I'm gonna hit five on my keyboard to reduce its opacity and that way it looks like a timestamp. There we go. I think I'm gonna move it over just a little more. There we go. Okay, so a few more things left to do. I'm just going to hit T on my keyboard and we're gonna write send a message in this text area. So send a message dot, 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 gonna align it. And then I'm also going to grab this heart icon. This is gonna be our like uh, button. So I'm just gonna press Command D to duplicate it. I'm gonna drag it over and place it here. I'm gonna shrink it just slightly and align it to the center. So I'm just gonna remove uh, remove the border. I'm going to enable the fill and we're going to color our primary color. I think I'm going to move it down a little bit. There we go. So that's our uh, first story that we've just designed. So it's going to be super easy to um, design our second story because we have kind of all of our main elements designed. So I'm just going to select everything we just added. So the photo, username, timestamp, send a message te text, and then the heart icon. And I'm holding shift as I'm selecting all the different um, elements. I'm gonna press Command C to copy it. I'm gonna select our second artboard, and I'm gonna just press Command V, and it's gonna paste everything into place. So finally, I'm just going to um, edit the uh, progress bar on our second story. So we've watched our first story, so it's okay if that's, you know, all white. But for this second one, let's make it like we're um, kind of in the process of watching our second story. So I'm just going to select the second progress bar. I'm going to press Command D. I'm going to shrink it down. I know it's a little hard to see. <laughs> but I shrink, uh, shrink, shrank this um, progress bar down just slightly. I'm gonna select both, color, th color them white, and then I'm gonna select um, the bottom progress bar and hit five on my keyboard, and that way it gives the appearance that we're kind of in the process of watching our second story. All right, so that kind of completes our design um, phase for our screens. So now I'm just gonna switch over to prototype mode so we can turn this into an interactive prototype. So um, for our stories, just like in the Behance app and in Instagram, when you select uh, the story icon, it goes into the stories. So I'm just going to, in prototype mode, select the stories uh, photo. I'm gonna wire it to our first story screen. 
And for the transition settings, I'm gonna set transition to dissolve, easing to ease out, and duration to 0.2 seconds. And for a second story, when we you know, tap it again, I want it to go to our second story screen. So I'm just going to select the artboard by uh, selecting the artboard name here. And I'm gonna wire it to our second story. So I'm gonna set transition to dissolve, easing to ease out, and duration to 0.2 seconds. And when we hit the X icon, I also want it to go back to our home page. So same uh, transition settings. I'm gonna wire it there. There we go. So I'm just going to preview what we've just done. Oh, there we go. So now it's an interactive um, prototype for stories. So this looks really good. Great. Okay. So now that we've designed and prototyped our stories um, screens, I'm just gonna go back into design mode and I'm gonna quickly show you how you can export it and upload it to Behance. So I'm gonna select all three artboards by hitting shift and selecting them. I'm gonna press command E to artboard all, or export all of our selected artboards. And I already have a, fo a folder where I'm gonna keep all of my screens. I'm gonna export it for design and the format is gonna be a PNG. So I'm just gonna hit export. And in Behance, I already set up um, my projects, but all you need to do is just hit create a project. Um, and because we have three screens that we exported, we want to hit photo grid. I'm gonna upload the files. Uh, go into my day one screens, select them all, press open, and it uploads all of my um, screens. So I'm just gonna hit continue. And under discoverability, I have XD Daily Challenge as my keyword. Um, and I encourage you to definitely use that keyword so we can find your work and feature it live in tomorrow's show. So I'm just gonna hit publish. Creative field. All right, so our design is published. Um, there we go. So that kind of wraps up today's Daily Creative Challenge. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I can't wait to see your designs for tomorrow. Um, and be sure to tune in tomorrow. I'll be live same time. And yeah, thank you guys so much. So just gonna quickly see what's up next for today. So from nine, be sure to tune in with uh, Kyle Grady. Um, at 11, we have a live UI UX design and I will be hosting with Lisa, so stu uh, tune in for that. And at one, we have Jermaine um, live. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you on the Slack channel after the show. Uh, nice, thank you guys so much, bye. Don't, don't, don't stop.